Hi friends, today we're talking all things folate. Folate is also known as vitamin B9 and it's water soluble. It can be found in foods such as lentils, leafy greens, and asparagus. Now aside from whole foods, most people actually get their folate coming from foods that contain wheat flour that has been fortified with folic acid. One of the primary role of folate in the body is to repair and synthesize DNA along with red blood cells and other proteins. Another major function of folate is to control homocysteine levels in the body. Alongside folate, we have vitamin B6 as well as vitamin B12 that helps convert homocysteine into the thiamine. High levels of homocysteine has been associated with greater risk for cardiovascular diseases. Folate is also beneficial for the brain. Studies have shown that individuals with lower levels of folate actually have poor brain function and higher risk for dementia. Although folate deficiency is not common in the general population, certain groups are at higher risk for it. Folate deficiency is more common in pregnant women and in severe cases could lead to birth defects as well as miscarriages. Other at-risk groups include those with celiac disease, inflammatory bowel disease, or with the MTHFR gene polymorphism, basically where folate has a hard time converting into its active form. If you want to learn more about genetic polymorphisms, check out my series on nutrigenetics available both on my IGTV along with my YouTube channel. Lastly, those who adhere to a gluten-free diet may actually find it a little bit harder to get enough folate in a given day just because folic acid is fortified in wheat products, but gluten-free alternatives like breads and pastas do not have to have any fortification of folic acid. So if you are following a gluten-free diet, just make sure to include folate-rich foods such as lentils, oranges, leafy greens, and asparagus on the daily. Folate deficiency can lead to anemia and other symptoms associated with it, such as weakness, fatigue, shortness of breath, as well as mouth sores. Folate toxicity is rare because it is water soluble, so any excess is usually excreted in the urine. However, the tolerable upper intake level of folate coming from supplements is 1000 micrograms in a given day. The daily recommended intake of folate for adults is 400 micrograms and in pregnant females it's 600 micrograms. This could be as simple as just a cup of lentil soup and a banana and that's 400 micrograms of folate right there. Bottom line, folate is essential for synthesis of DNA, red blood cells and proteins and to make sure our brain is working optimally. Every day, try to get a good source of either leafy greens like Brussels sprouts and kale and Swiss chard, cabbage, or red split lentils or green lentils along with oranges and other citrus fruits. And if not, include a little bit of folic acid fortified products such as cereals and whole grain bread. I hope you found this video helpful and until next time, relish every bite.